Well, hey there, my friend. How are you doing today? Oh, wouldn't it be great if this podcast was a call and response kind of podcast, like a children's show, you know, where I wait, wait for you to answer. Maybe you, maybe I've inspired you at some point to yell back at your phone or your computer or wherever you're listening to this and be like, you're so wrong. I hope I'm not doing that, but, uh, you know, I guess anything, anything, uh, that's really valuable sometimes is polarizing. So I could see how that, uh, that might happen to some of you. Anyway, I'm happy that you're here. Um, this is not going to be a call and response episode. Uh, but today on Drummer Daily, which is what the name of this show is, by the way, um, I'm going to start, and over the next few episodes, I'm going to share a few of these with you. Um, but I promise you I'll make it fun and applicable to drumming every step of the way. So don't tune out if this doesn't directly appeal to you at, at first. But over the next few episodes, I'm going to share with you um, a few of my favorite books um, that I have read, uh, that I, that I currently keep close by. Um, and specifically my favorite books is it relates to, uh, drumming both as an artist and being creative on the drums. So from a, from a playing perspective, uh, but some also, uh, in the pursuit of, uh, becoming a professional. Um, now, uh, I think that all of the books that I'm going to share with you over the next few episodes, all of them uh, can relate to either at the same time. So they will relate both to the pursuit of a career as a drummer, uh, but also to just becoming a better drummer, a more artistic and creative drummer, um, you know, and pursuing the craft of drumming in that way. Um, and so uh, today's episode, uh, I'm going to share the first book with you um, that's one of my favorites. And this might be my single most favorite. In fact, if if, if someone, if I don't know anything about you, if I didn't know your background at all, or I didn't know uh, anything about whether you like to read or not, or anything at all, if I just, you're a complete stranger and you came up to me and you said, Daniel, I'm a drummer and I, 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 I would like to pick up some book uh, uh, that would help me on my, my craft as a drummer in some way. And I don't even know what your goals are. I just know that's all you've told me. I would definitely recommend this book first. Uh, and the link to this book is going to be in the show notes, by the way, um, either on the podcast, uh, wherever you find it, but also on the page for this episode, which um, is danielhadaway.com slash 206. Um, but uh, this book is called Steal Like an Artist, and it's by a guy named Austin Cleon. I believe I'm saying his name right. Um, it's The subtitle of the book is 10 Things Nobody Told You About Being Creative. And what I love about this book is, A, it's short. Um, it, it is, every, every word that's written is, is you know, it's valuable. Uh, a lot of the pages are, I'm looking at one right now, um, number eight on the number eight of those things is, is one that's called, the chapter is titled, uh, Be Nice, The World is a Small Town. And the chapter title is actually spread across two pages opened up. So some pages just have big pictures or big graphics like that. Um, and, uh, anyway, it's extremely easy to read. It is extremely expire, inspiring. And this is great because you can read this book, get this whole book in one sitting, really, um, no more than an hour or two, you'll finish this book. It is so inspiring though, especially if you're trying to be creative and create your own music. If you're in a band, if you are trying to just find your own voice as a drummer and you're not sure what makes you unique about, uh, which makes you unique from all the other drummers and how you play, um, anything like that. If you would like to other people to enjoy your drumming more or to enjoy your music more, this book is just immensely inspiring. Um, and I looked on the back, the retail price is 13 bucks. Um, and I'm sure you can probably find it cheaper here or there. Um, but I actually would encourage you if you're someone who reads like on a, you know, a, a smart device or a Kindle or something like that, this is the one book, I'm thinking through the other books I'm going to re recommend, this is probably the one book that I would recommend you actually get the physical version of. I actually read a lot on my Kindle, but this book, uh, something about the tactile feel of it, it's about the shape and size of, a, of an old CD case, maybe a little bit bigger, um, but it's, it's so nice. And I'll tell you what, if you are feeling kind of down in the dumps about your playing or your, your creativity, uh, jump into this book. Uh, and let me see if there's anything else. I'm going to read you just the quote. This is actually him. At the very beginning, he quotes uh, someone else. He quotes uh, T.S. Eliot, the poet. Um, 
And uh, of course, I'm not going to read these whole books to you, but I thought I'd give you um, at least a little bit uh, from the book. And this is a good, a good kind of summary of what this book is about. Uh, so this is from a quote from T.S. Eliot. He says, immature poets imitate, mature poets steal, bad poets deface what they take, and good poets make it into something better or at least something different. The good poet welds his theft into a whole of feeling which is unique, utterly different from that which it, that from which it was torn. Again, that's from T.S. Eliot. So the idea is, yes, you're, you, you have to, in the, the, the point of this book too, one thing I love about it is he, he talks about envisioning yourself as just being a part of a lineage of great artists. And every artist builds on the people that came before them. And so you have to take in the art, the, art, the music, the drumming of those who came before you, and then build and shape uh, what they've taken into something new that you're going to put out into the world. Um, uh, the back of the book actually just lists out the ten, the ten, uh, uh, the ten things, uh, the ten things that nobody told you about being creative. They're actually listed on the back of the book. Um, uh, some of these are great, like uh, don't wait until you know who you are to get started. Um, one of the one is side projects and hobbies are important, which is something I've always said about even being a professional drummer. Um, another one says the secret is do good work and share it with people. Uh, I mentioned earlier, be nice. The world is a small town. Uh, another one that's great that I love as well from a drumming perspective. One is be boring. It's the only way to get work done. Uh, which again, sometimes practicing drumming is not going to be extremely fun. But we have to put in the work and show up. And in fact, uh, the next episode that I'm going to do here, the next book I'm going to share with you talks a little bit more about that. Um, and then the last one that I like on here is uh, creativity is subtraction. So it's not always about taking, you know, imitating or, or working with something that someone else has done and, and adding more onto it. Sometimes you can find cool things and creative ideas by taking away from what other people have done and again, shaping it through your own voice. So anyway, that's the first book uh, that I wanted to share with you. It's called Steal Like an Artist. If you Google that, you can find it, or I'm just going to pop an Amazon link into the show notes. Um, I'm not making any money off of that or anything like that, guys. Uh, these are all just books that I like, uh, and I hope they will help you as well. Of course, don't forget, there's an audiobook version probably of all of these books as well. So even if you're not interested in reading, you can listen to the audiobook. Uh, but anyway, uh, check that book out, and, and thanks for joining me. Um, and for some reason, if you're binging on this podcast after the fact, late, you know, down the road, like I'm 300 episodes in instead of 200 episodes in, uh, and you, you uh, aren't interested in reading or anything to do with these books, uh, feel free to skip them. But I hope you don't because, I'm, again, I'm going to try to help you find something useful. Even if you don't read the book, the podcast episodes are going to have something that's hopefully useful for you in the episode. All right. Well, thanks for joining me for now. And we'll be back again uh, not too long with uh, another book that I recommend uh, to help you on your drumming journey here on Drummer Daily. But thanks for joining me today, and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.